go back and watch the video that this comment is attached to so that you can understand what I'm talking about. Angry dads is an issue all across the land. And yes, I totally understand that there are some angry moms out there, but this is a conversation about angry dads. So please focus with me. It is so common for women to have these grumpy ass husbands that, you know what I'm talking about, kids, leave daddy alone, daddy's not feeling well today, kids, stay away from daddy, daddy had a bad day, daddy's not in a good mood, daddy's going to sit in his man cave and pout for a couple of hours because he's had a stressful day, daddy's upset, daddy's not feeling well, daddy's tired, and the wife, she's busy entertaining the kids and making sure they stay away from him. She's trying to cheer him up and make his favorite meals and keep his favorite snacks ready. And why, pray tell, are all these men so fucking grumpy? Because of this. And no, I'm not taking up for them and I'm not making excuses for them. Please calm the fuck down. But walk with me, talk with me here. Okay, so women, we brought into patriarchy that told us that if we were good women, we would get husbands and we would ride off into the sunset and we would be treated well and everything would be great. And men were also fed this, that you're going to get you a good little wife and you're going to have kids that are going to carry on your legacy and she's going to take care of those kids and she's going to do everything she can to make you a great man and she's going to help build your career and she's going to manage your life and she's going to do everything for you and she's going to be there for you sexually in every way possible and your life is going to be amazing. But then, they did all that, they got married, they had a family, and then they realized, oh no, I'm actually responsible for people. I actually have to go to work and pay, pay the bills? Oh my god. Oh no! And a lot of these men, I'm gonna say what they're thinking, but some of them will say it, because my ex-husband did, but some of them won't say it. If you're, if you're home right now, some of them want you to go back to work because they can't handle the stress of everything falling on them. But some men won't say it because they don't think it's socially acceptable to say that. They don't want to be seen as weak because they can't support an entire family. So instead of, instead of communicating like a fucking adult, they act like a child and go off and pout and avoid their whole family. Or maybe you are working and you are contributing financially. Um, they just, they regret being a family person. They regret having a family. They want to be off sleeping on somebody's crusty ass couch playing video games all day. But again, society told them, hey, after you get this age, now you have to be a man. And this is what being a man looks like. And a lot of them are like, okay, they bought into that. And they fucking hate it. This is why I have said a million bazillion fulfillion times that we need to stop idolizing marriage and relationships and having a family as the pinnacle of success. If we're going to idolize something, idolize being single and getting mental help and being a whole person because you have all these incomplete ass unhealed people getting married because that's what you're supposed to do and then they get married and they regret it and they take it out on their family you know what makes you a man the fact that you identify as one you know what makes you a woman the fact that you identify as one not having kids not getting married not balancing a whole household if more people were just allowed to be themselves and focus on being themselves and success was defined by whatever the hell they wanted it to be, you wouldn't have a bunch of grumpy ass people going home to families that they don't want to be around, that they wish they didn't have anymore. You wouldn't have a bunch of women crying in their bathrooms, regretting that they ever got married, telling younger women to not get married, okay? So, yeah, we really, I really wish we would kind of flip this whole marriage and family is the most successful thing you can do thing. Because a lot of these men, instead of just going off and pouting, they're just 
full out, full out, full on abusing their families. And some of these men are taking out their families. Those are the most drastic of all the situations. The men that just completely flip and just, just get rid of their whole family. It's unfortunate. 